the downfall of the singer or vocal decline. Will it happen to you? Let's talk about the five main reasons, starting with the most obvious. Number one, not practicing. Some singers don't practice and then they take a long break, five, 10 years, some even longer, 20, 25 years. Well, if you don't practice, don't expect your voice to pick up where you left off. It will take time. And sometimes we can't get back those old good habits that took so long to build. Now, this is not meant to scare you. It's meant to be realistic. In my 33 years of teaching, I have worked with some famous singers, many of whom had big careers and then left the stage, sometimes for decades. And then they book their comeback tour and they come to me to put them back together. And sometimes they come to me frantic because the voice won't do what they want it to do anymore. Now, some of this is just natural aging and there's nothing wrong with that. It's going to happen to all of us. but. You must continue to condition your voice. Now, don't forget, this is not just for older singers. I've seen this happen to singers in their late 20s, early 30s. They take a break from singing for a few years. Then all of a sudden they start getting a bunch of gigs and then they forget how to sing and we have to start again from zero. So practice regularly. And if you have to take a break, that's fine. But try not to make it too long. And when you come back, have realistic expectations and start back slowly. I have a video on how to resume singing after a break. Number two, only practicing big, heavy, dramatic songs. Sure, the dramatic songs make us feel good. They make us feel powerful. But you know, that's a lot of heavy lifting on the voice, thick vocal folds, firm closure. And this causes excessive wear and tear over time. We've seen it in some of our favorite singers. Usually they start going downhill when they sing too big for their own voices and they lose practicing moderation. Sure, practice your big songs, your belting, and also balance that out with lighter singing, moderate volume, quiet volume. See my playlist on how to prevent vocal damage. Number three, no strength training. Just like any other muscle in your body, the voice needs strength training. All singers must strength train. And like I always say, that doesn't mean loud. That means strong or else the muscles get weak. And again, as we get older, well, yes, we have to work a little harder than we did when we were younger. I've been singing for 55 years and I have to work pretty hard at it, but my voice is as healthy as it was when I was in my 30s. See my playlist on strength training. Now, if you want to stay in good vocal shape, then I highly recommend that you have a structured practice plan. You must know how to address your different vocal needs. And if you still haven't gotten my audio exercise training program, Victoria's Victoria's vocal exercise program, I don't know why you've been waiting. It's super affordable. We cover all different kinds of vocal issues. I give you variable playback speeds. You can work on your vocal colors, textures, vocal troubleshooting. It's for all different voice types, beginner through advanced. And the best part is I do regular group classes with members and I want to meet you. So see the link below and sign up right away. Reason number four for vocal decline, not practicing agility. Now by agility, I don't mean you have to do riffs and runs or become a coloratura. I mean that every voice must be able to move just like your body needs to be able to move. Can you imagine if you just sat on the couch all day long or only walked slowly? Well, your body would get sluggish and so will your voice. So if you only sing slow songs, change it up and sing some faster songs, sing some moderate songs. Remember variety, moderation. And in my audio training program, you have variable playback speed so you can practice things fast, moderate or slow. And finally, number five, not practicing your whole range. This is a different kind of agility. This is flexibility. The voice must remain flexible or else it will become stiff. Those vocal folds must be able to 
stretch and thin and shorten and thicken. A lot of singers wonder why they lose some of their range. They may lose some of their high notes. They may lose some of their low notes. Now, a certain amount of this may happen naturally with age, but remember, you take care of your voice and your voice can remain healthy for life. So continue to work your whole range, your middle range, your low range, and your upper range. A flexible voice is a vibrant voice. So again, none of this is meant to scare you because if you take care of your singing voice, it will be there for you for the rest of your life. I have worked with singers in their late seventies who are still out there dancing and prancing in community theater and musicals. I even had a 90 year old who accompanied himself on piano and was one of the best singers in one of my classes. See my playlist on how to sing healthily for life. And this is the video that YouTube feels you should watch next. Have fun with your singing and I'll see you in the next video.